Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Ethan Drew, and we're going to be doing another reaction and analysis today. Surprise, surprise, right? We're going to be reacting to and breaking down voice plays version of The Wellerman. Now, for the... This song has been covered widely by a lot of groups and a lot of people, and I'm excited to break this down for you today. And we know voice plays are always getting hyper creative with their arrangements. And this is actually going to be a YouTube short that we're reacting to, but it's close to two minutes. The Wellerman is a somewhat short song, and we're going to be breaking it down for you today. And before we dive into today's video, I just want to check you to check you. I want to encourage you to check out my Patreon page if I am bringing value to the music that you listen to, helping you appreciate it on another level by showing you the nuances of the music that you're listening to. You can support me there on Patreon as little as $1 a month or as much as $50 a month if you choose to be that generous. It is far from required to enjoy the content, and if you're not able to, no worries at all. I will not hold it against you whatsoever. You can throw a like, drop a comment, even if it's a smiley face, it helps with the algorithm. And if you're feeling generous, you can subscribe. It shows me how much you appreciate the content. Now, with that said, I'm going to show you how these show you. I'm going to explain to you how these videos work, and then we're going to jump right in. So for those that don't know me, hi, I'm Ethan Drew. I break down music, interview singers, songwriters, and I also do my own music through YouTube Shorts and TikTok. And my goal on this channel is to help you gain a better appreciation of the music that you like to listen to. And the way I do that through these videos is through breaking it down for you. So the first portion of these videos is where you get a genuine reaction from me. There will be no pausing. And then there will be a brief break. Then we'll migrate into the second portion of the video where there will be a lot of pausing. And there will be a lot of talking about what's going on in the music. With that said, we're going to jump right in. And I will see you over there in the reaction portion in just a second. All right, folks, so we have arrived at the reaction portion of the video. Like I said, there will be no stopping in this. And this is going to be a genuine reaction because I have not heard the their performance of it yet. So with that said, we're going to dive right into it. It's only a minute 55, so this could be a short or shorter video. But uh, yeah, we're about to dive in. And let's enjoy this uh, performance of Willerman featuring Anthony. I'm not going to try to pronounce his last name because I don't want to butcher it. There once was a ship that put to sea. The name of the ship was a Billy a T. The winds blew harder, bowed it down. Oh, blow my bully boys blow. <laughs> Soon may the weathermen come to bring the ship. I dig it. And rum. One I dig it a lot. When the tongue is done, we'll take our leave and go. Ooh. She had not been two weeks from shore. When There's a lot happening her, here. All right, well, bore. The captain called all hands and swore he'd <laughs> take that well in tow. <laughs> Soon may the weathermen come to bring the sugar and tea and rum. One Subharmonic day when the singing is done, we'll take our Jeff. leave and go. Before the boat had hit the water, the whale's tail came up and caught her. Heads to the side, harpooned and fought her when she died down low. Soon may the weathermen come okay, to bring the sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tonguing is done, we'll take our leave and go. No line was cut, no whale was freed, and the captain's mind was not of greed. He belonged to the Wellerman's creed. She took that ship. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. The Wellerman come to bring the sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tongue is done, we'll take our leave and go. For forty days or even more, the line would slack. The tight boards dubstep. were lost. There were only four, but still that whale did go. Soon may the Wellerman come to bring. <laughs> This is awesome. One day when the target is done, we'll take our leave and go. As far as I've heard, the fight's still on. The line's not cut. And the whale's not gone. The weatherman makes Ooh. his regular call. To encourage that captain crew and all. Oh. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, so that was hyper complicated for a two minute cover. <laughs> they packed a serious punch in only two minutes. Okay, we got some stuff to talk about, ladies and gentlemen. 
Subharmonic City from Jeff. Uh, low Chest City from Jeff. We've got some nice high belting from Ellie and Caesar. Uh, <laughs> a dubstep section straight up from Lane. I'm excited to explain what's going on here. All right. I will see you guys in just a minute. We'll go over all that stuff. All right, folks. So we have arrived at the breakdown portion of the video where I explain what's going on in the music to the best of my ability. Uh, caveat here, I'm not going to be breaking down harmonies because that usually takes up a lot of time in doing so. So I will be primarily drawing your attention to harmonies and other things in the music, but just know that I specifically for harmonies, I will not be breaking these down because it consumes so much time. Now... And we are going to jump right back into this. this. Excuse me. Uh, we're going to jump right into this, and there's a lot to talk about, and I'll try my best to explain what's going on and explain how what they're doing takes as much skill as it does. There once was a ship that put to sea. The name of the ship was a Billy The winds blew harder, bowed it down. Oh, blow my bully boys, blow. So, uh, what's going on here at the very beginning? They've actually increased the tempo a little bit from most original Wellerman versions that we're used to hearing. And it's not a very big increase in tempo here. It's not that much faster. There were in the original key that we're used to hearing the Wellerman in. So, so far, sounding like a pretty much like a basic cover, but we all know that voice play is not basic. <laughs> The Wellerman come to bring the sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tongue is done, we'll take our... So, <laughs> so, um, like I said, it's got the basic feel of the Wellerman. You know, the song is very... It's very it, very much a, sh a sea shanty, for those that don't know. Um, if you don't know, you might be living under a rock. Because um, sea shanties have had a massive surge in popularity thanks to TikTok and other social media platforms where people have been doing covers of these. But, I mean, it still feels like the original. But we know Voice Play is going to do their creative little twist. And it's not visible yet what they're doing. So, I mean... This right, this section here. I put to see the name of the ship was a Billy a T. The winds blew harder, bowed it down. Oh, blow my bully boys, blow. So right there, it's basically initially got the same start off of the music as most other covers. Soon may the weathermen come to bring the sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tongue is done, we'll take our. That's another. That's a bit of a departure from most other covers. Is that there's a. There's a chord in there that's not expected. Like, it, it doesn't normally sound like that. So I'll show you. To bring the sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tongue is done, we'll take our leave and go. So that has a note in it that doesn't normally belong within the triad of the chord. So it creates a slight bit of dissonance there. And... It's a nice little uh, bit of variation that they add to this. She had not been to and that was a very subtle and very short G1 in chess by Jeff there. I'll point it out to you. Day when the tongue is done, we'll take our leave and go. She had mm, right there. It was super short. He may have also had a, another lower note in here somewhere. Blow. <laughs> Soon may the weathermen come to bring the sugar and tea and rum. Am I hearing an F1 subharmonic in here? Maybe. It's very subtle if it is. Soon may the weathermen come to bring the sugar and tea and rum. One No, I think it's just an F2. Day when the tongue is done, we'll take our leave and go. She had not been. Yeah, that was a G1 scoop to a C2. And mm, so that's the C2, but he scooped up from mm, mm, from right around there up to the C2. So that note there. Excuse me, that was embarrassing. So I'm a little sharp right now, but that note right there is what he scooped up to from the G1, and it was a super well-controlled scoop. Two weeks from shore, went down on her, all right, well, boy, the captain called all him. 
I like the uh, I like the background vocals here. Hmm. Hmm. It's not staccato, but it's not legato either. It's with purpose, and it's got a lot of punch to it, but it's not drawn out and connected. And it's a really good way to emphasize or like to complement the beatboxing that's going on here with the vocal part. Been two weeks from shore, went down on mm. her, all right, well, bore. The captain mm. called all hands and swore he'd take that well in tow. Oh, soon may the weathermen come to bring the sugar in. Ooh, there's a sub F1 subharmonic from Jeff. That well in tow. Oh, soon may the weathermen come to bring the sugar in. Mm. Yes. Yes, Jeff. Yes. And and rum. One day when the tongue is done, we'll take our lead and go. Before the boat had hit the water. Yes, and this section is nice and spicy. I love when it. The tongue is done, we'll take our lead. Here comes a dubstep. Before the boat had hit the water, the whale's tail came up and caught her. Hence to the side, harpooned and fought her when she died down low. <gasps> I won't be able to stop and listen to the background vocals as well, but take on your own time, take a minute to go back and listen through to the background vocals and try to listen to each individual voice as you're listening through to it, especially in this little dubstep section. It's super, they are all super clean, super, super clean. And it complements the, the beep or the, the vocal percussion in this so well, so incredibly well. All the boat had hit the water, the whale's tail came What's the bass line that Jeff is doing here? Take our lead and go. Before the boat had hit the water, the whale's tail came up and come. Very, very punctual with the bass line here. Yeah. Oh, I just did a C1 sub. Whoops. <laughs> yeah. So the C2, they're going back and he's going from a C2 to the C3. Mm, yeah. mm, no, that's a C4. Mm, that note there, he's bouncing back and forth between those two notes in this bass line. And to bounce back and forth an octave on a bass line and to do it staccato-like and be that accurate with your pitches, of course they have pitch correction and post-processing, but to do that even without pitch correction is difficult. Unless you're Jeff Castellucci. <laughs> Caught her hands to the side, harpooned and fought her when she died down low. <gasps> so, I'll show you his bass line again here. Before the boat had hit the water, the whale's tail came up and caught her hands to the yeah. side. I'm doing another subharmonic. So, the C2. I did an octave up there. It's very... Oh, I love it. It's just listen. one day when the tongue is done, we'll take our lead and go. Before the boat had hit the water, the whale's tail came up and come. That's it's he's so precise and punctual and accurate with his pitches on this. And it's it just hammers home the fact that he is one of the best bass singers alive. to the side, harpooned and fought her when she died down low. That bass line is incredible. Nice job. Came up and caught her hands to the side, harpooned and fought her when she died down low. <gasps> also, a really sweet riff down from Ellie there. The women come to bring the sugar and tea and rum. Like I said about the background voices, guys, make sure you go through and listen to these individually, especially in this part two, right after the dubstep or going into the end of this dubstep area. One day when the tongue is done, we'll take our leave and go. And uh, let's see what Jeff has for us here. Ron was cut and the whale was freed and the captain's mind was not of greed. He belonged to the Wellerman's creed. She took that ship Slams a G1 there like it's nothing. May the weathermen come to bring the sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tongue is done, we'll take our leave and go. For 40 days or even And here we go with Lane singing. Like I said, guys, it's I've said this before. It's not that often that we see Lane carry a lead in a arrangement of a cover in voice play. And it's usually a treat when we do get to hear it. So, 
let's see what he has for us here. Now we listened to it already, but I want to see. I want to dive into what he's doing in this. Time. Time is done. We'll take our leave and go for forty days or even more. The line went slack. The tight ones more. All boats were lost. There were only four, but still that whale did go soon. Okay, that was really cool. So he had a nice raspy lead here, and it leads into the theme of the song a little bit. And I love it. I mean, we like I said, it's always a treat whenever Lane does sing. But, like, he's also really into, like, the theme of the music, too. So kudos to him on that. That whale did go. Did you feel that almost like a breath, almost like something should have been there, but it wasn't. That's because something normally is there in the original arrangements and other, like, original version of this song. They say, well, that whale still did go. That there is something there, but in this version of this song, voice plays version of this, they put go on the offbeat. More bubbles were lost. There were only four, but still that whale did go. And the offbeat is quite literally off the beat. So the way an offbeat works, you have the beats of a song. So it goes boom, 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 boom. But the offbeat goes boom, 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 boom. So it's quite literally. So if you have four beats in a measure, so you go one, two, three, four. The way we describe an offbeat is and. So we'll say one and two and three and four and. So that's what an offbeat is. It's quite literally off the main beat of the song. And those are also known as eighth notes. Eighth notes, excuse me. And he placed the go, whoever arranged this, on the offbeat. And it's a nice little uh, twist there. It sounds out of place at first, but it... I mean, it's a great little creative piece to add. More bubbles were lost. There were only four, but still that whale did go. Soon may the weathermen come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tucket is done, we'll take our leave and go. As far as I've heard, the fight's still on. The line's not cut. And the whale's not gone. The weathermen. All right, so two things here. The absence of, more or less absence of vocal percussion. As far as I've heard, the fight's still on. The line's not. So now we only have we have basically no perk aside from the the figurative kick drum, if that makes any sense, and it's more variation. I love it, and that, and then we have Jeff slamming a G one as. Per usual, I mean, at this point, it's obligatory. He's just able to do this with no issue. I need to make a passing mention to the really high belting. Also, extremely well controlled. We all know Ellie's a tenny. A tenny. A, he's a tenny. Lord have mercy. He is a tenor, and he can do this very well. But Caesar is not to be slept on either, because he's also a very good high belter. Wonderful high belting here. Take our leave and go. As far as I've heard, the fight's still on. The line's not cut. And the whale's not gone. The weatherman makes oh. his regular call. To encourage that captain crew and all. Oh. 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 To bring the sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tongue is done, we'll take our leave and go. Take our leave and go. <laughs> that was a really nice thing to add on there. That was a departure from the original the way they finished off this song here. This section here. Right here. And we've got crazy high belting. We've got great perk. And we have Jim, or Jim, Jeff holding that G1 out like it's nothing again. They finished the song off with an Aeolian cadence, folks. 
And for those that don't know, an Aeolian cadence is whenever you have three notes and rising, rising in pitch. So it goes, ba ba ba. It's used to induce excitement in a music piece or in in a movie with music. And what it does, it almost makes it sound like you're building to a climax at the end of a piece of, of music. Bum bum bum. Like huge excitement is what it's supposed to emphasize. And it's done through this buildup, if you will, of pitches and volume, intensity, etc. So it almost makes it feel like, mm, ooh, ooh, excited, excitement. <laughs> It's a really, really cool way to uh, finish off this section of the piece. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to be listening to this again in my off time. Huh. All right. So that's going to bring us to the end of today's video, but we've got plenty more coming this week, so stay tuned for those. And in the meantime, drop me a like, throw a comment in the comment section down below. If it's a smiley face, it helps the algorithm. And if you're enjoying the content, I'd appreciate a subscription if you hit that bell and make sure you're notified every time I post a new video. And again, it's like I said, the first part of the video, if you are gaining value from these videos that I do and you're gaining more appreciation for the music that you like to listen to through these videos, I would appreciate it if you would look at my Patreon and you can support me as little as $1 a month if you choose to. With that said, we're going to wrap today's video up. This has been Ethan Drew. I love you. Take care of yourselves, and we will see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye.